The excitement that the Bills fans bring, formerly known as Bills Mafia, it's different than anything I've ever seen. It's a pickle jar for the fourth greatest comeback from National Football League history, so I keep it in the car for good luck. I don't call this a bowling ball, this is a 16 pound shot glass. We got our uh, mustard and condiment distribution center over there off top that van. Bill's Mafia is indescribable. And this is our buddy Jeff. And that's facts. Um, in his will, he wants to uh, be cremated and buried it with us. So of course he's in a 1985 little flame a cooler with us. I mean, why not? Um, so he comes every game with us in here. He's also sprinkled a little on his field. This area right here shows that I'm a member of the Mafia. Uh, I am the co-founder of the Bill's Mafia movement on social media. Back in 2010, Stevie Johnson dropped what would have been a game-winning touchdown pass from Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, in overtime, it, they would have beaten the, the Pittsburgh Steelers. That night, he famously took to Twitter and tweeted at God, you know, just venting his frustration, and it made national news. It was, it was, it was crazy. And the next day, Adam Schefter retweeted the tweet, and we kind of teased him a little bit because Adam is known for like breaking news just like that all the time. So for him to retweet something a day later was kind of, you know, unusual. So we teased him a little bit. He ended up blocking us, and uh, so I coined the term that the five or six of us were called the Bills Mafia. And it was just an inside joke between a bunch of Bills fans, and it just blew up into this huge community now that encompasses all Bills fans. So the house is, is something we purchased um, about six years ago. My wife and I got it, and obviously being this close to the stadium, we had an idea of, well, let's let's try to do something fun with it. And now we're we're here to what we are. We have the, the, the Bills Mafia house that has now taken off to things that I never would have dreamed it would have taken off to. I mean, you can see the stadium, it's right there. This past off season, they put up a fence, and it's, I mean, it's a beautiful fence, but it did block the house, and I showed up here one day, and half the fence was missing. So now you can see the whole house, and the uh, request actually did come from ownership to take the fence down so that the players and the owners and the fans, more importantly, coming in and out of here every week, and even people visiting outside of game weekends can drive by, take pictures of the house, um, and, and, and now everybody can see it. I've been a Bills fan since July 27th, 1991, when the Bills played the Philadelphia Eagles at Wembley Stadium. The Bills won, and that's the end of my story. I'm, uh, I decided to move to Canada so I could get a season ticket. I was coming out here every year to visit and watch the Bills play, and I decided that was a, a waste of money, so I may as well just move my family. These are, these are people who love their team, love their city, make that an infectious spirit. I've adopted Buffalo as my city. I love Buffalo just as much as I love my hometown. I'm happy that I came to Buffalo because the fan is crazy. Uh, that's why we play so hard. The, the Bills are part of the Western New York fabric. They're part of our DNA. I grew up here in Buffalo. They're part of our family and we're part of theirs. That's what I love about them. And it's just awesome just to kind of see the passion um, week in and week out. I fly in from San Francisco for every home game. You know, they are all the heart of the city. My best part about coming to the stadium on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays is passing the tailgate lots. We get here on um, Saturdays about 10 o'clock in the morning and we don't leave until uh, <laughs> Monday about 10 o'clock in the morning. So we're here for three days. We've been doing this seven years, ever since we lost our son, Billy. He was killed in Afghanistan in 2012. But before that, he was a true Buffalo Bills fan. I wouldn't miss this for anything. I wouldn't miss it for anything. My passion. And there's, there's nothing fair weather about uh, Bills Mafia and the Bills fan base. We're not going anywhere, our team's not going anywhere, and, and, and we're, we're in this for the long haul. So regardless if the Bills do well or they don't do well, we're always here. We're climbing the ladder, going back up just like 25 years ago. You talk to people around the city and they're 10 and 20 year season ticket holders. Yeah, this uh, 419 is gonna represent my consecutive game streak, home and road. I don't miss Bills games for 26 years, I've been to every game. You know about the 17 year playoff drought, you still would have people out there. If you're a Bills fan, you're not a bandwagoner. Like at this point now, after the past 20 years, if you're a Bills fan, it's because you're a Bills fan. The success that we've had here in Buffalo, especially in the early 90s, it's something we want to get back to. We want to give our fans that, that feeling again. My favorite moment of all time was probably the first AFC Championship game we won that sent us to the first Super Bowl because at halftime we were winning 48 to three. 
you know, they just coasted right into Super Bowl 25. You knew with an entire half of football left, you were going to the Super Bowl. It was just a giant party in that stadium for the whole half. But I think that entire game is probably my favorite memory of the Bills fans. We don't worry about the next week. <laughs> forget the next, <laughs> forget the Super Bowl. Well, I went to the other four, and I want to really be able to walk out of one with a really great feeling that's going to last the whole year. And... This is this is our team. Love you, Bills. <laughs> Go Bills. Bills Mafia, please don't stop. We got this. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.